If you adopt a new dog from the local shelter, you probably don't know what breed it is. And not only would that be interesting to you, but certain breeds are predisposed to different types of illnesses. So a DNA test is helpful to your veterinarian as well. I recently adopted from this shelter and did a DNA test on my new puppy, Shandy. Sit. Good girl. This is my dog, Shandy. We adopted her from the Roanoke Valley SPCA several months ago after fostering her and then knowing she had to become family. What we didn't know is what she was, what breed of dog. Not only is it interesting to know, but veterinarians can use the info to better care for the dog. Why is it so important to know the breeds that make up a, a dog? Well, we can actually predict some of the diseases or conditions that these dogs are very prone to based on their DNA results. So we ordered a DNA test from Embark for about $200 and waited. Each one that you open is going to reveal a little bit more about Shandy's DNA. What better way to learn Shandy's heritage than a party at the RVSPCA, complete with a board of directors, staff, a special cake, and lots of guesses about Shandy's heritage. Pet. Labrador Retriever. Chihuahua. Chihuahua? <laughs> yes. Chow. Golden Retriever. Labrador. Labrador. All right, and I say Labrador too, so there you go. Then it was time for the big reveal, one box at a time. What do you think it's going to be? I don't know. I don't know. Oh! oh. What's it say? 6.5% American Bulldog. American Bulldog? <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> chow? No. <laughs> Nobody said Chow. It's American Stafford Shire Terrier. What? Oh, that's a pit bull. Okay. All right. Super Mutt? Super Mutt? We don't have any Labrador yet. And 59% American Pit Bull Terrier. Oh, wow. So my cute puppy that I would have bet my life was half Labrador has not a trace. But her vet already knows what to look for. Shandy has a lot of pit bull and a Staffordshire Terrier. That type of dog has a lot is prone to mast cell tumors, which are these little tiny little tumors that can pop up on their skin. So what we'll do for Shandy as she ages, if she if you find something abnormal on her skin, bring her in right away. We can test it, get that thing off, and probably save her life. My five-month-old puppy, as it turns out, is only about half grown. Her vet knows what to look for. Mary and I are a bit perplexed that we were so far off. There you go. But at the end of the day, Shandy certainly doesn't care. Uh -huh. And we have a sweet, loving new member of the family. So in this case, my vet will be looking for those illnesses that are common in pit bulls and related breeds. And remember, it's not free. Doing it through my vet cost about $200, and it took about six weeks to get results. Be sure to subscribe to Solutionaries to see all our latest videos right here on YouTube.